Hey there Spartans, welcome back to Halo Cannon. Uh, today we're going to be doing Intel item locations, which is nice because they're this nice guide that I can do since they're cannon relevant and whatnot. Um, I can't, I honestly, I, I do wish I had died. I wish I had done these for past games, but we'll start with Halo 5. And if you guys like this, I can also go through and do the other games, but I mean, they're ancient, so whatever. Our first piece of intel is right here at the beginning of the game, right here by the grunt. Nice little grunt. <laughs> Hitting the wrong button. Alright, our second piece of intel is right after you bust through this ice wall, this first kind of forerunner area you've j you, uh, you come through. And, and I should mention too, um, on the Osiris levels you can always use your Artemis tracking system to track this stuff down. It gives off a nice audio ping, which if you have headphones on, we'll let, you can use the left and right audio channels to track it all down. And of course, just, you know, the nice visual indication. And I also forgot to mention before, um, at the end of this video, we will. I will play, be playing all the audio logs back in order because you do kind of find them out of order at times. So we'll play the, uh, certain ones back in order. Well, we'll play them all back, but we'll play certain ones in the order they're meant to be listened to. So anyway, here's the second audio log. Alright, our next piece of intel is uh, right here before you go into this Forerunner Temple. You'll be look, looking out over that. Um, and it is actually right up here. You can kind of see, and hopefully, if I did, uh, it should, you should be able to somewhat hear. Uh, it depends on how well I do the audio here. Uh, now, there's a couple ways you can actually get up there. Uh, not the way I was doing just there a moment ago. Sometimes you can make that jump. Uh, not always. The easiest way, though, is by making sure you confuse the hell out of people. Smash through that wall. That's obviously vital. But no, uh, in all seriousness, the easiest way is to go up over here and ju just make this quick jump. I know there's a way to get up, you know, other ways, but this that's just the easiest way. And the next audio log is right here. All right, our next piece of intel is right after you go into that temple, right where the Kraken first appears. I say appears, but you know, well, there you go. So, after you see that, you come around the corner here. Now, normally you'd go up that way, but if you come down here, and again, remember, you can always use the Artemis to track this shit down. It really helps. It really helped me the first time. But, there you go. The signal is consistent with previous, I hesitate to call them, messages that implies communication. This is more like echolocation, a signal bouncing off Forerunner objects, mapping, searching for something. But what? What could she think to find? Okay, Spartans, our next piece of intel, intel number five, is right before you enter this temple here, or Forerunner site here, whatever you want to call it. It's up near where this turret is. So if you go off to the right here, just come up here. Now you can normally go up there if you're playing through the campaign and uh, take out that gunner turret, and it is not there, I'm sorry. Um, it is right here by this buried elite. We have penetrated the structure that was a focal point for the last signal. I have yet to gain access to anything informative. Jules people are more concerned with ceremony than allowing me to do my work. Alright, our next piece of intel is actually 
it's right here in the temple right after you enter so as you're heading up normally you would take the left after you come through the store so you normally take the left there if you come off to the right we're close to Halsey's position we have another piece of intel obtain scans of new forerunner glyphs one is completely new. Running the other through the system revealed it contains a similar design to an ancient Sangheili symbol. This symbol referred to a demon who sleeps in the ground and must not wake. How this relates to the signal, I am unsure. And our final piece of intel is right before, you know, you've cleared out this area, right where they first encountered the knights, right before the end of the level, which is right through there. You come up to the side here. Up to where this another elite is somehow impaled through the ground. There is the last piece of intel for this level. All of the readings I would expect from a forerunner structure of this scale are erratic at best. I'm beginning to wonder if the signal is in fact bouncing off these locations, as I theorized, or if she is trying to access them directly and failing 